Hey, how's it going? I'm Adam and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a lesser known film that isn't available everywhere, Iron Bridge 100D. Now, my buddy Matthew went to Taiwan a couple of months ago, you know, without me, but I'm not mad at all, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, when he got back, that's when he gifted me this film. I then went online to try to get some information, but sadly when I googled Iron Bridge, it literally showed me an iron bridge. Then I dove even deeper and I couldn't find no data sheets, no websites, no nothing. But I was able to gather that it's an indie film probably made in Thailand and it's a C41 color negative film with an ISO of 100. So I figured for today we'll be shooting this film and learn as we go. I had some things to do in a small city called Vzhechnia. So I loaded up the Han Solo to my Chewbacca, the Like R8 and was on my way. Now, when I got the scans back, my first immediate thought was, I am a terrible photographer and Sinister 50D. Turns out I wasn't too far off cause down at the lab they told me it was Kodak's Vision 3 50D, which if you didn't know, it is what Sinister 50D is made of. Here are some samples of Sinister and Ironbridge side to side. Now, a couple of my friends said it looks different from Sinister's film stock. They said that Ironbridge's colors seem to be more intense and vibrant but I'll leave that for you to decide. This does tells us that it's a motion picture film stack that can be developed in C41. Alright, we finally made it here to Zhexia. I'm really curious how the Iron Bridge will turn out and seeing as though that we only have one roll, I really hope that I don't ruin it, but knowing me, I probably will. The skies really seem to give off a vibrant cyan color, sort of like a smurf. I really enjoy this photo. Not my typical style of photography, but it perfectly shows a small city life in Poland. Well, at least the way I see it. It is definitely one of my favorites off the road. Here I made it down to the Old Town Square and I took some photos here. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your vision. Those red glows are called haliation. Sort of think of them as rashes in the film photography world. This happens when you take a motion picture film and remove a thing called the remjet layer. People remove the remjet layer so stills can be processed in the ever so accessible C41. Side effects may include red glaring spots around the edges of dark areas in your photos. You may have also seen this in Sinistil's film stocks such as 800T, 400D, etc. One 
thing I noticed about this film stock is that the photos give off a pretty bluish purple overtones, sort of the opposite of your portraits, golds, etc., where they give off a more warmer look. It was time to go back home to Pulse 9, so I got on the train listening to Sai's song, Daddy, and decided to finish the road there. And as soon as I got to Pulse 9, it started raining. So sadly, I didn't record much B roll. This photo isn't anything to do a backflip for, but I do enjoy the reflection and I do think the blue tones really suit the rainy weather. And that's the end of the vote and the video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the photos I've taken. I think it's due to the change of scenery. Now, don't get me wrong, I really do love shooting in Pulse 9, but if you shoot in one place for too long, you are bound to repeat photos and possibly get bored. Anyway, back to the film stock. I actually really do love it. It's clean, I enjoy the bluish tones, and it seems to be a really flexible film stock. Plus, I really enjoy the subtle grain that this film stock offers. It is practically non-existent, like my chances of owning a Leica M6. Now, I admit I am really sad that I don't have more rolls, but if you search online, you are able to order them. It goes for around $14 to $15, a couple of bucks cheaper than Cinestill, and there is an Ironbridge 400D, and for you night photographers, an 800T version. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. Like, subscribe, you know, do all that jazz, and I'm off to pre-order my Barbie tickets. Take care.